Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we're gonna be going over uh, bank today, starting off on uh, defense. Uh, thank you guys for all the support I've been getting recently, as I always say. Appreciate that. Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, etc. Um, for ops, we're gonna pick the lower site first. Uh, operators that you could pick here that are good. Uh, Smoke, Jaeger, um, Valkyrie's always good. Rook. Um, could use Pulse is good. Uh, Bandit could be okay. Um, Mute's always. I don't know if I want to set mute or not. Mute's good. You can use Kavera if you're roaming, if and you know they're running a jackal. But we're going to run smoke first and head to the basement. Okay. So really quickly, we'll just go over reinforcements first. You get ten. So I would put one on the server hatch, which is right up the stairs. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight reinforcements. Now, the last two, you can put them on these A walls wherever you feel comfortable, or so like whichever ones you want. Like, say you want to put a mirror, you have to actually reinforce both of these to put a mirror on it, but you get the idea. Or you can reinforce one of these and put a mirror on it. Or you can leave them soft completely, and you could reinforce these walls so that if they drop in the vault, they're kind of trapped and they don't have a way to get into sight. Uh, definitely going to want to put some barbed wire on these stairs over here. It doesn't hurt to put it underneath the drops, but it's up to you. Um, then load up the server room. Like, hopefully I'll have a bandit here, so put a piece of wire here, here, here. Um, yeah, whatever. So this way there's a person playing in server. You could also put two ADS systems back here so this person can play safely over here. And put another ADS system over here if you're going to hold server. If you're not going to hold server, put all the ADSs in the A site, like behind this desk, uh, in the corner over here, wh wherever really. And um, that should give you like a, a good, I guess, general set up for different ideas for wire. You can also put wire, like I said, underneath all the drops if you want. I'd probably recommend like the site drop, the site drop here in the hallway, if you're gonna do like two of them, say. Um, definitely gonna wanna shotgun out the hole over here. So you can crouch through, get in. You can also throw smoke safely through here. If you look at the doorway, if they're planting in the doorway, you can line it up. Throw a smoke, and smoke out the person planting in the door. You could also do it if they thermite this wall. You can also throw smoke grenades against that, and gas them out over there. Smoke's pretty important, like I said, on this map. It's good to have, like, a Valkyrie camera somewhere over here or in server. Um, give you, like, a general idea of when they're planning. Also, this isn't going to be a bad idea to give yourself access to this other site. Um, just so you have like different rotations and stuff, right? So if you're trapped, uh, if they're in the hallway, like on main stairs or something, and you don't, or they're in the garage, and you don't want to, well, what would it be for garage? If you want to help A, I guess as fast as possible, this would probably be what this hole would be best for. Um, also, there's a really good angle here if you have an A cog on, like, say, a rook or something. Uh, you won't be able to see it quite as well right here, but. Um, if you hold this angle against the bomb, you can see the crack in the doorway. Like I said, much easier to see than ACOG. And you can shoot people when they're in the server over there, helping support the person that's playing in the back of the server. Um, additionally, you can leave this wall soft if you want to. Because most people will, like in ranked, a lot of people will maybe forget to bring a thermite, so it's a good idea to leave it solid. Um, so yeah, you can, you can, le you can reinforce it. Uh, if you are, um, if you're just playing rank though, if you're playing in a competitive environment, it might be smarter to leave this wall soft though, which gives you, an, if you're only going to put one reinforcement on this wall, it gives you another reinforcement so you could double reinforce the vault. Um, another option as well. So I'll just show you guys where all the hatches are up top too. So, let's go over that. So there's the one, this is the server hatch. There's two hatches in an open area, one in the elevator and one behind the teller's desk. So here are the t here's the two in open area. So you can see where they go. This is above the A site. This is above the right hall. Obviously you're going to be reinforcing these, not shooting these. This is the elevator drop. 
And over here is the vault drop. That's why I was saying it could be a good idea to reinforce these two walls and maybe sacrifice that reinforcement on that wall that may leave that one server wall soft. So this way if they drop in here and you have somebody who say like that your rook was playing in B, playing that pixel gap, he can then walk through over here to the crack, come in, and he can play this drop over here now. Nice thing is, is if they break it, and you're not sure where the drop is, you can just look where the debris is on the ground and that's where the drop is you aim up and just shoot them as they're coming down. Um, another big problem too, like you definitely gonna want to have your smoke playing somewhere over here because a pretty common you know, thing that people do is they try to come in and plant uh, with a montane, especially if they don't have a thermite and this wall is reinforced. So you just simply throw a smoke grenade, get the montane off. Also, you can lay behind this desk with any operator and throw C4, which is pretty nice. Also, there's a little, there's a gap right here that you can actually see through as an attacker and as a defender. So, you can see it goes both ways. Um, head glitching the bomb is not a bad idea. You can help support the person in the tunnel to start. It's really nice too if you get a camera in the tunnel or something. Um, you could also put barbed wire on top of these stairs and you could help the, it's a good idea too if somebody's in server. So you're pretty much nine times out of 10 people are going to attempt to take this server area from you, especially in, in ranked, actually pretty much all the time, unless something goes wrong for those people. So you should, if you're a guy that's back here, you wanna like help them so that they're not fighting multiple areas by themselves. So there's the one guy holding the pixel gap, kind of watching the tunnel for him or behind the A-bomb. You'll kind of be holding the stairs. I probably wouldn't have a smoke here, maybe like a Jaeger or something. Also, you can rotate late in Rome. So it might not be a bad idea to say, possibly don't roam in the beginning and then you can come up later or uh, maybe just roam off the start. There's a couple like different, different things you could do. I mean, if you want to have multiple people roaming, that's like another option as well. You can open up like the hatches above in the ceiling to scare them a little bit. So, just a couple of different ideas for you guys. And uh, we'll move on to the uh, teller's site defense. Okay, now we're going to head to the tellers, which is the next best site, in my opinion. So, teller's office, uh, operator picks, once again, smoke's always good, Jaeger, Valkyrie's very good here, um, Pulse is good, uh, Mirror should be pretty strong here as well, um, Bandit or Mute, I think is a must here, Ban uh, Bandit's pretty good for the wire, but we'll go to the teller's archives. Okay, four reinforcements here, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and then you could put uh, two wherever you prefer on this wall. Like here and here is what I generally do. So that's eight, nine, and then I normally put one over here occasionally, but you don't really have to. I mean, you could just put it wherever you want. I put it there and I board up this door generally so that like I know no one's in there really. And they can't get like nice I mean, they can get good pre-fire angles off the doorway, but this way you at least know that they can't spray through the wall. But again, it could be good to leave it soft as well, because then you could they don't have anywhere to hide either. So it's just preference, I suppose. Uh, board up all these windows over here. Put pieces of barbed wire, so one at each. Here's the window. Window and door, sorry. Um, I'll put these two reinforcements up over here, so you guys can kind of see where they are. One here, and then one here. Now, if you have a mirror, you can put a mirror on these, or if you don't, you can just make shotgun holes, so they have things to look at, and you can play in between barricades this way, and give you some like nice angles into the main lobby, but... They're not very advantageous angles. You're mostly going to be using these as like more of a distraction, I guess. You could also double up these reinforcements, like put them right next to each other. This way you have like tons of room to go on each side and pre-fire people, especially with the mirrors up. Um, so for these doors as well, you're going to want to board them up, put wire down, 
ADS system on each door, put an ADS system on the back door, battery this whole wall, and uh, if you take both mute and bandit, which I would recommend, you can mute this wall, this wall, you could battery this whole wall, and then battery like the piece of wire by the door back here so they can't drone you quite as easily. And then for your other mutes, you can uh, just put them wherever you want. You can put them by the back door as well. Um, you can put them by the front. You can put one by each door so they can't drone you as easily. Anything will, will really work. Um, so the biggest thing is you're going to want to have multiple people roaming on this map. Probably your bandit and your Jaeger would be good to roam. Um, your smoke playing in archives so that whichever way there's a montane coming, he could smoke off the montane. And you would have a... Oh, sorry. One more holy. You have to, one more thing you have to open. I recommend opening this hatch. You have somewhere to escape later. And the other three people are defending site, um, whoever they are. It's good if you have like a Valkyrie, say, or a Pulse in sight, so this way you can see four of the people, because a lot of people will um, attempt to fuse the floor above you, breach charge the floor above you, buck the floor above you, shoot you through the floor above you. All of this floor is essentially spammable throughout the entire site. So your goal is to keep them away from this. Um, the way you would you know, probably do that is by playing people up there to start and having people from below C4ing. Um, Another option you could do uh, is to extend the site. You can actually uh, castle this off, open this, castle this doorway down here, castle this doorway. And you can make holes up here, and you could actually play up here. Um, it could work. It could work okay. Uh, I don't know. I think it's better off just defending site and playing up here with like less resources and attempting to whittle down their time and whittle down. Um, the amount of enemies you have to deal with so if you have a 3v3 and you're in sight and they haven't breached the floor above you too heavily you're probably gonna win the match so um other things you could do too if you really want is uh you can make like shotgun holes underneath the windows and shoot them when they're coming in it could be somewhat difficult i recommend just leaving the floor solid but most of the time and trying to see four of them through it it's normally a little bit better um but yeah, that's just a, a basic overview of a teller's hold. There's obviously more hatches you can open up so you can have more rotates all over open area. So this way they're a little bit afraid and you give your roamers more mobility. But like I said, just a, a basic setup. And we'll go over the uh, go over the open area now. Okay, now we will head to defense on open area. Um, open area and CO at this point are both about equally viable. I might even say CO could be a little bit better potentially, um, just because of Habana and Thermite combo. But you want to take smoke. Um, a Jaeger again is always good. Bandit, good for wire. Mute, mute the walls. Um, policy form through the floor. Uh, I'll give you guys a pretty good mirror too that I found. Um, I was just playing in ranked and it seemed like it was pretty good. Okay, so you have 10 reinforcements again. So this wall takes four, two, three, four, or four, can't count, four. Uh, one, two, three, that makes seven. And there's three along this back wall. That should be 10. So this wall needs to be annihilated. Impact grenade it, shotgun it, do what you gotta do. You should be able to crouch, well, really walk through is better, but crouching is, crouching through should be okay as well. Um, this wall right here, recommend shooting it up a bit. Actually, don't make them head level. Well, you can make like one if you want head level, but I recommend making more of them like prone level like this. So this way when they walk in, they have to lay on the ground. And, if you want, you could take a reinforcement off one of those walls or something if you don't quite need it as much. You could reinforce right here, or you can leave this wall soft, but I don't know. I think it's worth a reinforcement to take it away from somewhere else. Wherever that may be for you, I don't know. Um, possibly like the stock hatch over here, because um, it's kind of a death trap if this wall is open, right? And then jump dropping down into it. Um, and you could put a mirror right here. Load this up with wire, have somebody playing in the kitchen watching the window, and then you just can be fast peeking it with Mira because you have a window right here. Um, there's a couple hatches to break. There's one over 
here. And there's one over here in the side office, so break those open. Like I said, make sure to, uh, to break all of this wall open. Try to make it a walk hole. Ideally, easiest thing is impact grenades. Uh, put a couple pieces of wire. So, as much wire as you can. Like, ideally you want to put another piece even over here. And put some more wire over here by the doorway. Maybe at least a piece. So if you have Bandit, Jaeger, and Smoke as three operators, you have seven pieces of wire. You put, you know, two over there, two over here, maybe three by the window. Or you can take one off the window, put one under this drop. A lot of people will drop there. Um... As for the walls, I would band this whole wall fully, um, mute this wall, put a mute near the drone hole over here, this corner, put a mute over here, so that should pretty much be all of your mutes at that point. Or if you decide you want to, you could put a mute over here, it, it just can get shot a lot easier, or you can put it over here, which would make them take a wide peek on it, which wouldn't be too bad either. Um, but the biggest thing you're going to deal with is if you don't have that mutant bandit people are going to blow these walls open if they're any kind of competent team with a thermite on each wall and then they could habana all three hatches open so this site you're going to really only want to play like maybe a person or two in sight and everybody else has to has to roam for the site to work so um, pretty much playing up top if you want to make your... I would actually leave that solid. I don't know why I shot that. Um, just so you could... When you're, like, rotating up server stairs, they can't watch you. So all these are solid, but you're kind of trying to hold up here, I guess. Get some picks. Like, it's, it's, it's a difficult site to hold now, right? It used to be pretty doable because you had to pick whether you wanted to get... Um hatch and a wall or you want to get both hatches or etc etc whereas now you can get all three hatches and both walls without any you know without any inconvenience really the other thing too is you were able to open this up and you could shoot the thermite off of this as well like if he was trying to thermite it you could just shoot him off um the one over here is on solid ground so you couldn't do it here but you could deny this hatch from thermite which was the more important hatch um, the stock hatch also can be denied with a thermite. I just fell down a hole. But, um, so that's all, that's all changed now because you can safely just shoot them with Habana and then safely get the two walls. But like I said, this is, this map is pretty, pretty heavily roam dependent and, um, pretty much isolating these walls. If they don't have a thatcher and you can save these walls... And you could play up top with a couple people roaming to pick people off. You should win this site, especially in like ranked games and stuff like that. Um, in ESL settings, you won't really have to play this this site much because it's only a double rotation, which you'd probably just pick tellers and basement at that point. So we will uh, move to the last site, which is CEO, which um, I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe more viable than this site, but we'll move on there. Okay, now we will head to the CEO office like i said might actually be better than open open area right now because pretty much a thatcher you know can pretty much shut that site down pretty well uh just th 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 thatcher habana thermite combo um but we'll go with uh smoke here as usual jaeger's good um i would say like a mute or a bandit if not both is very good um you know rook could be okay pulse mira could always be good and we will do the CEO office. So for reinforcements, um, there's two on each of these walls. So that'd be four, one, two, three, four. I think it's like five, six, seven, eight. I believe this is a four panel. Yeah. And then if you want to, you can actually leave this open and make holes across so you have an option you could use you can use those uh those reinforcements or i don't even know how i just walked through that it's interesting or since all these walls are solid you can castle off this doorway and extend the site a little bit for yourself the only thing is is like once you lose once you lose this the best the best place to do the walk hole would be in the back corner but it's not as easy if they get the doorway for them to see in or even better is over here. 
making like a crouch hole um, over here. It can still be seen from the elevator hall, um, but you can castle off this doorway as well. And then, since you're not using those extra reinforcements on that wall, you can um, reinforce over here and over here. So, this I believe is a four panel as well, and this is a two. So just a couple different options. Uh, if you're just kind of starting out though, um, I think it makes more sense to do these four, these four, and then uh, probably these two right here. And that should that should be pretty good for you. Um, you're going to want to load up these different areas with barbed wire. So these the doorway, barbed wire, second set of barbed wire over here. Um, board up all these windows if you can. I mean, it's lost the vision for them. It's always good. So if there's somebody in parking, they have to at least waste time and ammo shooting down these barricades. And board this up as well. Put wire here, wire here. Load up these windows as well. Possibly castle off this door, because this is the main door where if there's like an ash on that roof, she can actually ash this cabinet. Well, they changed the destructions for cabinets, so you might not be able to blow this up anymore, but in the past you were able to blow it up. And just see straight back here. And you could actually, so if you thermited this wall, planted the bomb here, you could actually watch the bomb from the parking garage with like glass. So if you had your ash, ash this off, and you could just watch it with glass, or even the ash, ash yourself could watch it. So just something to uh, to take to keep in mind is it might be worth castling that if you have the castles. If not, then just board it up. It's okay, and load it up with barbed wire. Um, this this site you can actually play like quite a few people in the site, like say three, and have two roaming. Um, good angles, play the bombs. Bombs are bulletproof, so you could play against these windows. Playing behind this desk, it's not completely bulletproof, but it reduces damage. If I believe it's eh, looks to be bulletproof somehow. Okay. But play up here, play behind the bomb. Bombs invulnerable. Black box is invulnerable, so this is always like a, a decent spot to play. Keep them off the windows. You can throw smokes at them. And uh, should be pretty good. You could play somebody in the meeting room over here. Even if this, even if this back wall is reinforced, you board up the stock door, board up this door. Most people, if they if they have a montane, are going to try to walk them through this door so you can smoke them off. Um, also, if they don't attack the windows and they're just attacking you over here, you could have people helping you crossfire as well. As well as you're going to have two people roaming around. Um, good thing to do would have those people come on like later flanks and stuff like that. If you set up Valkyrie cameras so they, you know there's nobody watching flank, you could send that person and call for them, hey, there's a Montane coming over here with two people pushing behind him, and there's two people on our windows. Well, then you know nobody's on the flank, so you could have the person flanking around just come up the stairs and gun three people down. And at that point, you should have probably won the round. Um, so just some, just some basic ideas you could do. Um, like I said, battery these walls, mute these, uh, put a couple of mutes down over here so these entrances don't get droned quite as easily. Um, mostly just personal preference. And um, that's all for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. If you want more of this kind of stuff, um, just like and subscribe. It always helps. Um, and if not, I just hope you're getting something out of it and you guys enjoyed the video. And have a good one. See you guys uh, on the attack side.